President Rodrigo Duterte names controversial broadcaster and columnist Mon Tulfo as his special envoy for public diplomacy to China. Malacanang releases Tulfo's appointment paper Thursday, October 25, two days after Duterte signed the document. The appointment paper states Tulfo's term as envoy will last for six months. Tulfo went up against the medical community when a video he posted on social media showed him cursing an emergency room doctor of the Philippine General Hospital. PGH demanded a public apology from Tulfo, but he refused to apologize or take down the video. President Rodrigo Duterte announces he has promoted Customs Chief Isidro La Peña to Technical Education and Skills Development Authority or TESDA Director General. Duterte also says he tapped Maritime Industry Authority or Marina Administrator Ray Guerrero to replace La Peña at the Bureau of Customs. It was during La Peña's watch when Shabu, weighing at least a ton and worth at least 6.8 billion pesos, slipped past customs screening. Meantime, the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency or PDEA revises its figures and says the illegal drugs are now estimated to weigh 1.618 tons worth 11 billion pesos and not one ton worth 6.8 billion pesos as earlier reported. PDEA Chief Director General Aaron Aquino says PDEA made a recomputation after weighing the empty lifters found in Cavite and comparing it to the weight declared in importation documents. Ang, uh, ang lumabas doon sa aming uh, pagtitimbang Reweighing uh, uh, doon sa apat na magnetic lifters sa GMA, lumabas doon is uh, 1,618.8 kilos. Kung i-multiply mo yon ng 6.8 million bawat kilo, it will turn out to become 11 billion worth of illegal drugs. President Rodrigo Duterte stresses the need to suppress online gambling. Duterte says gambling is a magnet for many crimes, including kidnap for ransom and extortion. Kasi ang gambling, kasi tignan mo itong ukada. Lahat ng kidnapper, extortionist, mga polis, neskalawag, magkidnap sila dyan lang sa kwarto. Tawagan yung pamilya, ayaw mo mabigay, patay nila. Presidential spokesperson and chief legal counsel Sal Panelo clarifies that Duterte likely means he will only crack down on illegal online gambling firms. But Duterte says he has no problem ignoring contracts with casinos and companies behind gambling establishments. In December 2016, Duterte ordered the closure of all online gaming. But months before this, the president indicated he would let online gaming companies operate as long as they pay the correct taxes and avoid locations near schools and churches. His shifting positions created uncertainty in the growing industry. Malacanang says Nora Honor's exclusion from the list of new national artists spares her from the emotional and psychological torment had she been given the title. Presidential spokesman and chief legal counsel Sal Panelo says he is optimistic Honor will be named national artist someday. Panelo says Honor got a majority vote but not a unanimous vote from officials of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts and Cultural Center of the Philippines. Ms. Nora Honor is still young. And in God's perfect time, we are optimistic that she will be proclaimed as a national artist. Honor had been nominated several times in previous years for the title, the highest recognition given by the government to Filipino artists, but the title has so far eluded her. The shores of top tourist destination Boracay will reopen on Friday, October 26, exactly six months after the island was closed for rehabilitation. President Rodrigo Duterte ordered the six-month shutdown of the island, citing the need to address its environmental problems. An aerial view shows Boracay's spotless white shores without the green algae that had crept up over the years. It shows the visibly overdeveloped island with buildings constructed close to each other. Boracay's reopening is just a few days away but construction works are still ongoing. 